Um, but when looking into factoring this, the main important thing, guys, we can factor this is factor out the 2x, right? And therefore, that leaves it with 8x cubed plus 27y cubed. OK. Now, we don't really have a factoring portion with this, all right? And I, I was telling you guys, I was looking at uh, you know, binomial squared. I don't want to be dealing with the binomial squared. What I want to remind you guys of is the difference of two squares. When we have the difference of two squares, remember we wrote this, we could factor this very quickly, right? We've practiced on showing you difference of two squares because rather than doing the x's and all that kind of stuff, we know that a factored form of this is a plus b times a minus b. Right? That was kind of a general rule that we've talked about. This is the difference of two squares. So now what I'm going to look at is I'm going to show you the difference, or not the difference, we're actually going to be talking about the sum of two cubes. So what would that be a factored form of that? If I have a cube number plus another cube number, how can I rewrite that? Well, the formula for that is going to be a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. All right. So the important thing that I want to tell you about this, Bjorn, is if you come up to a factoring problem, right? If you guys look at this factoring problem, we factored this out. Then we would probably more likely would just say, oh, it's prime, right? I can't do anything else inside there. However, we need to look at this and say, well, I see a cube number. Can I rewrite this as a sum or difference of two cubes? Now, I said sum of cubes because you can see, obviously, we're doing addition. So what I need to do is, can I write this as a cubed plus b cubed? All right? Well, let's go and take a look. Can we write 8 as a cube number? 8, because that some number multiplied by itself three times? Yeah, two. two, right? So we could say this is 2 cubed. x, we can obviously write as x cubed. 27, can we write that as a cube number? OK, then by applying our product, by applying our exponents, we could say 2x cubed plus 3y cubed, right? So now, guess what? We wrote this. Now we're re rewriting this as the sum of a cube number and another cube number. So what we can say is a, by using the formula, a is going to equal 2x and b is going to equal 3y. So once you can determine if you can write it as a sum of two cube numbers, now what we can do is just go and plug them into our formula. So our formula, again, says a, which we said was 2x, plus b, which is 3y, times a squared, which is going to be 4x squared, minus a, which would be 2x, or uh, let's, just, let's just do the whole thing. Uh, 2x squared minus 2x times 3y plus 3y squared. So now let's simplify. So we get 2x plus 3y times 4x squared minus 6xy plus 9y squared. And then remember, we initially factored out a 2x. So we'll write that back in there. So your final factored form of this problem is going to be that. All right. So we can go an extra step. We found the GCF, factored it out. But since we had a sum of two cubes, we now factored that back out. OK? So what I'll give you guys is.